Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with some oracle messages and I'll get into the tarot. In the pre-shuffle, I was getting that you are on the right direction when it comes to your career. You're headed in the right direction, on the right path, doing the right thing. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? Vacation. Okay, so for some of you, you could be on a vacation planning for a vacation, we have work from home. So for some of you could be getting a work from home position or you could work from home currently. Saving money, that could be a big focus here. Of course, that could be advice. For some of you, you're saving money for a vacation. Spirit, what are the financial messages for Aquarius? Unemployment. So for some of you, you may be looking for a job. I'm also getting for some of you, you could be quitting a job. Um, moving into a more entrepreneur type of situation here. We have toxic work environment. Yeah, for some of you, you may be quitting a job. And we have performance evaluation. So that could be coming up for some of you. I'm also getting uh, for some of you, you could be giving a performance evaluation. We have selling here at the bottom of the deck. So uh, for some of you, could be opening up your own business, um, doing something online, doing something at home, um, side hustle type of thing for some of you. Spare, what are the love messages? In the pre-shuffle, I got unworthy. Somebody may feel unworthy to come forward or something like that. We have gossip. I am afraid of what other people will think. So uh, maybe somebody hasn't come forward or somebody hasn't expressed how they feel because they're afraid about how others will think. For some of you, this could be like in a friend group. So maybe they're like, oh gosh, how will our friends react or something like that. We have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. So yeah, somebody wants to tell you how they feel. Uh, we have mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. We have destiny coming out. I'm struggling to find the right path. So for some of you, that could be you. For some of you, that could be your person. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Okay. One more love message for Aquarius. And we have regret. I wish this never happened. Okay, so somebody's definitely regretting something here. We have mistakes. So yeah, maybe somebody made a mistake with you, said the wrong thing, did the wrong thing. For some of you, you may have walked away from this person. They definitely regret what they did or said to you. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Page of Swords. So somebody could be spying on you, paying attention to you. The Five of Swords. So I'm feeling like with... The Page of Swords and the Five of Swords, I feel like somebody is, like, they're planning something. The Page of Swords, like, they're watching you. I don't know how I feel about that energy yet. Yeah, they're watching you, the star card. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. Spirit, so what are the messages for Aquarius? The Knight of Swords. Okay, so I'm feeling like somebody may be planning to come forward, um, planning to say something. Now, with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords... I just don't like that energy together. I don't know why. It's giving drama. Like there's a problem here. Could be someone from the past. We got the Six of Cups here. But I am feeling with this reveal card, somebody... Okay. I'm definitely getting gossip energy from this Page of Swords. And we have gossip and reveal coming out. If this is somebody new... Uh, somebody feels a very strong connection with you because the Six of Cups, it is the past, but it is also a soulmate connection. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the past. Um, if this is somebody new, they are, I feel like they're planning to tell you how they feel, but they're going to do it in a really weird way. Like, I don't know why, but I'm feeling like they're trying to avoid other people knowing how they feel. For some of you, this is a friend group because there's, so, there's something about other people. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so I'm also feeling that they want to reveal how they feel to you, but maybe they don't want someone in particular to find out because it may hurt their feelings. The Three of Swords. Okay. okay, too many. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, for some of you, this is a very destined type of thing happening. But the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, for some of you, you may have experienced some sort of change or ending when it comes to your love life. Um, or of course, this could be your person's energy. We have the Temperance card here. So for some of you, you could be dealing with the Sag. Um, but you have, I feel like you're healing yourself. 
at this time. We do have uh, an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, you may have walked away from an earth sign. I also have Scorpio here. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're just in this mode of healing yourself, recovering. I feel like you're being very patient in love as well. Or that could be the advice is to be very patient when it comes to love. And I'm feeling like this Three of Swords, I mean, it could be your energy, but I feel like you're more in the energy of the Four of Swords. I'm really letting things go, healing, focusing on yourself. Somebody's feeling the Three of Swords here. Could have been someone you're in a relationship with or married to with the Four of Wands. What is the Page of Swords energy here? They just told me very closely. Somebody is watching your every move. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, the Four of Cups, the Three. Okay. So, yeah, for some of you, this is going to be someone for the past. Um, for some of you, it does not, not all of you, but there is a Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy um, that is watching you. And it's like, I don't feel like they like what they see. Um, the Three of Swords here again, like I said, I feel like this is not your energy. This Three of Swords, and they're like, the Four of Cups is feeling unsatisfied, feeling rejected. Somebody may feel rejected by you as well. So give me more of that Four of Cups. Yeah, Judgment, the Empress, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, if this is someone from the past, they really regret how they treated you uh, with this Five of Cups. It's like, now with the Judgment card and the Empress, I feel they're now seeing you as this Empress energy. You may have children with this person for some of you. It's like they see you They see you as their Ten of Cups. But it's like with this Five of Swords, maybe they were playing mind games with you. Why is this Five of Swords energy here? Yeah, somebody's planning to come back forward. The Ace of Wands wanted to pop out. Yeah, somebody wants to come forward towards you. You're somebody's wish. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a new person. We do have the Star, the Lover's Card, and the Eight of Wands. So do know that somebody is planning to express how they feel to you but for some reason they're like way overthinking it like the five of swords this is somebody that is making a plan so i feel like instead of just saying it they're i don't know there's something about them not being direct like they want to show you how they feel they want to express to you how they feel but they are not being direct for some of you this could be another aquarius I also have gemini here as well so you give me more on the five of swords so do know somebody's going to come forward somebody's going to reveal how they feel could be a Leo for some of you. We got the King of Wands. But they're they're being very indirect about it at the moment. See, so why is the Knight of Swords energy here? Also getting maybe they have told somebody how they feel about you. Could have been their friend or someone they trust. They're really trying to avoid some sort of drama. It's like they want to express how they feel. There's an energy of multiple people being involved here. And it doesn't necessarily mean that there's multiple people in love being involved here. But... They're trying to avoid drama. Hmm. And I'm feeling like with this Nine of Swords, if this is your energy, someone could really be going through a lot right now. The Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands. I'm just noticing this girl has all her shit. Could have to do with a living situation. Being confused. If this is your person, this could be what they're going through. Why is the Three of Swords energy here? The Page of Wands. The, yeah, it's like something about... Hmm, I feel like your person, or you, or both, have walked away from a situation that has nothing to do with each other. And it's like, if you two form this connection, if they make an offer to you, or you make an offer to them, it's like somebody is going to get hurt. And I feel like it's neither of you. Like all, it almost is giving the energy of like somebody's ex is watching them extremely closely. And if they get in a relationship, that's going to cause drama in their life or vice versa. It cause, could cause drama in your life. But it's like they really want to come forward. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It's almost like with this Wheel of Fortune being in the center of the reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups. It's like the universe is literally pulling you two together. So it's really hard because I almost want to say this person almost ignores this connection or this could be you ignoring this connection. But with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups, it is like impossible to ignore this connection. Say, so why is the Death card here? 
And I do feel like you guys are supposed to bring change. For some of you, it's a co-worker. The Three of Pentacles just popped out. Why is the death card here? Yeah, it's like I feel like neither of you know the change that you're about to bring into each other's life. Like, there's a lot of like a lot of change and a lot of healing with this. Like it's like your angels are literally bringing you two together. Let's see why is the Temperance card here? Some of these could be a Sag. The Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Five of Swords again. Yeah, it's like this energy of somebody. I feel like they're trying to manifest you, trying to plan their way back into your life. I feel like Spirit's saying to continue to move forward and move on from this. And I feel like a lot of you are. I feel like you and your person that are trying to come together, this new person, y'all could be going through something very similar and not even know it. Like, I feel like you both have eyes on you. Like, it almost, it almost feels like you both have some crazy exes. You guys are trying to come together, but at the same time, not have all this drama. I feel like for some of you, all of you know each other. So that could be why there's there's an issue here. And that could be why they're being so weird about expressing how they feel because they they know they're about to they're about to to some shit's about to be stirred up. There's definitely gonna be some gossip. Like they know what this is going to cause, or you know what this is going to cause. And see, so why is the four of swords energy here? But it's like I'm kind of feeling with this Wheel of Fortune. Yes, the Knight, the Knight of Swords again. They, it's like they're laying here like, if I tell Aquarius how I feel, uh, oh, there's going to be like, I feel like their phone's going to blow up. Like if they, if they know you and this person went on a date, like their phone's going to blow up. Like, oh my God, you guys are dating. Oh my God. Like, I feel like there's, there's an energy of like a friend group or a community or a workplace, like something like that. That's why they're holding back. But they're going to reveal. It's going to be revealed one way or another. Maybe you hear about it through some gossip. I feel like they did tell someone. Maybe someone they trust. Why is the world card here? The death. Yeah. I feel like you both have come together to help each other move on as well. Like I feel like you both have moved on. But it's like, I feel like you are supposed to go through this, whatever this is going to, whatever is going to arise from this, it's going to be okay. Like, I feel like you both are anticipating it being really, really bad. And I don't feel like it's going to be that bad. Like the tower is not here. I don't feel like it's going to be that bad. But there is something about both of you releasing something from the past so you two can come together. Like they're almost telling me that you two have prepared all the shit you guys have gone through, you've prepared to come together. For some of you, it could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Spirit, what is the overall advice for Aquarius? Wow, that came right out. Okay. Queen of Pentacles again. Her strong earth energy in this reading. So, advice. We have the death card and the devil. This can be anything. The devil could be a person in your life. Um, could be a bad habit. Could be a way of thinking Anything that holds you back, the death, you got the death card three times in this reading. So uh, there's something here that needs to change. Something needs to be released. If, for those of you, if you're still in this situation, um, if this is a person, advice is to end it. Like truly release this devil, whatever it is for you. So what is the overall advice? We have the seven of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. So I'm feeling like continue to focus on your growth, um, whether this is financial, emotional, spiritual, all of the above, um, continue to focus on that. And there is an energy of being patient here as well. I feel like this is in life. This is in love um, with the temperance and the Knight of pentacles. I feel like it's OK if something is going slow right now. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.